Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install M2 SSDs in the OWC Excelsior 8M2 PCIe card. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step will be to flip the card over so that the heatsink is face down. Out of the box, the heatsink is held into place with these two Torx T8 screws, which we'll need to remove. Once these have been removed, you can lift the heatsink off. There's a small ridge on the slot cover edge, so it's easiest to lift up on the back end of the heatsink and slide it free. There's a notch in the M2 SSD that lines up with the pin in the card socket. Align the two and slide the card into the socket at an angle until it's fully seated. You can then push down on the other end of the card and secure it in place with one of the small Phillips screws that came with the Excelsior. Repeat the process for any remaining M2 drives you may have. We can now replace the heatsink. There is a notch on the heatsink that goes under the ridge on the slot cover. Set the heatsink into place, making sure it lays flat. Then flip the card over. There are six Torx T8 screws which we'll need to attach. Replace these six screws, making sure they fit snugly, but don't over-tighten them. Then, insert the single screw near the bottom of the slot cover. Depending on the configuration and power output of the computer you're putting it into, the Excelsior 8M2 may require additional power to run. In that case, you'll need an internal power cable that has a 6-pin connector on one end and a connector compatible with your computer on the other. This is sold separately as different computer models have different connectors. Check your computer's documentation to make sure the cable you have is the right one for your model. To connect the 6-pin connector on the card end of your cable into the socket on the top of your Excelsior, simply slide it into place. Your Excelsior 8M2 is now ready to install into your computer, format, and use.